Remember Big Kev? Big Kev. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Is he still pumping around? No, no he's no. dead too. Oh, rest in peace, Kev. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 20. 20. 20. Episode 20 oh of God. the Average Aussies Premier League Mastodons. podcast. All the boys back in the den. How are we, fellas? Good, mate. Bfos. Better than last week. That's it, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> back to work today, mate. Back in the work Oh, here. I'm not all right for that. <laughs> back down at the coal face. But we didn't lose, things. so I'm all right. Nah, that's good. Yes. Um, no Premier League this week, unfortunately. It's FA Cup. But we're going to go through some fixtures from last round, go through the next fixtures. Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the video. If you've got any questions, if you want to ask us anything, if you want to tell us where shit, what, do whatever you want, <laughs> just comment on the fucking video. Um, social media, we got TikTok, we got Instagram, we got Twitter. Get on there, give us a follow, and thank you, everyone, for 100 subs. We made it. Woo! As of today, we're actually on 101. So Ooh, 101. 101 subs. Okay. So now our next goal. Is it 200 or 2,000? 2, 2, <laughs> One million <laughs> subs. Be, yeah. 200, I reckon. Yeah, next one's 200. So just keep subbing to the channel, please. If you watch it and you kind of enjoy it, you don't have to watch the whole podcast, but we kind of want you to, but just sub to the channel. It's fine. Yeah. Go for it. Um, all right, fellas. Where do we want to start here? We already went we've through. already spoken about yeah Brentford Liverpool yes we have yeah so let's let's talk about the game of the round Everton uh, one <laughs> Brighton four I don't know if anyone know noticed but I did pick that score oh, not not the score but I did say that Everton would get absolutely hammered by Brighton if they played like they did against yeah. us they came off the draw with City which is so surprising it is isn't it like yeah, how Everton boys. Yeah, they fucking trends. They tried to play like Real Madrid again. <laughs> <laughs> the old uh, Pickford doing stepovers. No, nah, like Brighton are a great side. Yeah. So like, uh, there's never like uh, the only thing that surprised me is that Brighton were away from home there. That's it. Yeah, um, but I mean, I don't know if like Everton for Everton exactly to have lose a, that bad, or, yeah, like at home. Mate. But with the the position that Everton are in and the form and everything, I feel like there's no they go advantage. down one nil. Yeah, fans like so. Th there's no belief <laughs> in that in that stadium anymore. No. So I'm not I, to me. There's no home ground advantage there. No, no true. So, but well, my next question to you all is how long has Frank Lampard got? Surely he's out of a job within the next we've month. We've been saying that for months. Yeah, it oh, went, want, it, it went want, next I want, round. I want your timeline. I want your genuine timeline. And then who do you think could replace Frank Lampard at okay. Everton? Um, if they don't get a result <laughs> against Southampton on the weekend, Go then on. surely he's he gone. gets sacked then. That, yeah. Surely. I um, think. What do you think, baby? The week after, they're at home to West Ham. Because after yeah, that, they have Liverpool, then Arsenal. Yeah, but they'll probably beat us. Like, let's be honest. Oh, they're going to sack a manager going into those two fixtures. Yeah, it doesn't really they matter. They might does because it? they might want the bounce. Yeah, they might want the bounce against yeah. us. Yeah, they'll yeah. do that. All right, so we've established probably <laughs> the beef. Frank, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. If we ever get monetized, I'll tell you what, we're going to make twenty dollars an episode, no matter how many views we get. <laughs> the amount of swearing that's I'm in just, our video, I'm just going to be beep. beep. Yeah. You're just going to be a big blur. <laughs> <laughs> It'll, we'll get monetized and then we'll go down to a three-person podcast. And they'll be like, why uh, did that happen? Yeah, and all of a sudden, everyone's <laughs> back. <you, Aiden. laughs> what happened there? <laughs> anyway, uh, um, so we've established that oh, we probably only think Frank Lampard's got two games left in him, Max. I reckon that's... Depends on the results, obviously. But um, Yeah, I yeah. think and a loss in either of those two, surely Everton have to sack him. Um, I don't know. I think if he gets a win and one and loses the other, they'll, they'll keep, keep going. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. also think Everton don't fucking know who they're going to go for. So. Well, that's the other problem. That's you said who, who are they going to get? I really don't know. Who? Who's, who's out there? Uh, who, well, who, who, is, who wants to be a Who is out there, but who would a, go let's there? Let's have a think about it. Well, what, that's, yeah. What managers have been. There's been a few managers sacked this year. Are they only floating around from the. Tuchel. <laughs> Tuka won't go. Tuka won't go, yeah, <laughs> Everton. But that, that's the thing, like, at one point, Everton had all this money and they were spending, they had Carlo fucking Ancelotti, Ancelotti yeah. coaching, yeah, the fuck, managing Tottenham, I mean, Everton, 
Tottenham. <laughs> he, he should have never stayed go there. there. Not going to win Champions League to the dog. He's gone. He was at Everton. Can you believe? They signed Carlo, James Rodriguez. Carlo Ancelotti like, was at Everton. Can anyone? The Don was at Everton. So can you can you definitely rule out Tuchel won't go to Everton? I don't think. Well. I don't think he will. I don't think. No, I think he's got visa problems in. in what the about UK. what about Scotty Parker? Scotty Parker no, has just, just become manager of like Standard Liège or something yeah. in Belgium. Oh, okay, well, so well done, fellas. Well done. Just stay as far away from fucking Bournemouth. As <laughs> who, you can. They else? might throw big cash at Ange. How good would that be? Oh, oh that'd be no, sick. that would be horrible. I mean, suck for you guys. <laughs> yeah. You have to hate him, but I, I, I don't like that he coaches Celtic either. If they um if they sack him, if they sack Lampard, they'll just put Duncan Ferguson back in charge. Yeah. Du- Duncan Ferguson was getting results. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, I know. He knows he's, Ever- he's Everton through and through. Well, he-, he knew he knew how to he knew what they needed to do to get a result. Whereas Lampard, yeah. as you keep on saying, he's still trying to play like the Real Madrid or something. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if they sack him and they chuck yeah. Big Dunk in and big like Dunk. He'll just probably take him through the end of the season. They'll just, they'll battle six. just avoid relegation <laughs> and then they'll sign. Big Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll, they'll sign another that. Premier League player who, you know, recently retired who's going to be their manager and then it'll repeat. Yeah. yeah. And Big Dunk will just keep on doing it. Big Dunk will be 80 and they'll be like, Big Dunk, <laughs> save got, us from relegation. Season, mate, you got a coach. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I reckon he knows Everton. He, he plays a style of football that's just – it's not nice to watch. Like, it's, it's not bad to watch, but it's not like – it's you a know, bit Brexit ball isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's yeah. just pump it into the box, get a big man in there, get Calvert Lewin on the end. Win of the it. 50-50s, yeah, just like, go and work ch- as a team. Challenges. But you know what? Where that's they what, are, that's what you fucking want, isn't that's it? That's what Absolutely. Everton's born on, isn't it? Working class, like you and yeah. um Everton, you know, that blue collar. Yeah, blue collar city. Just bashing people around. Get it done. Yeah. Like they're not getting it done. We've yeah. got to get an Everton fan in and ask him these hard hitting questions. Do we, do we know any? <laughs> hear, hear what they think. <laughs> we know we know one he's Plastic as they come. Yeah. Well, we know too. He doesn't plastic. support it anymore, does he? <laughs> yeah, apparently Didn't gave, he up say off he gave up the other day. And D- Dane doesn't know enough about it. <laughs> <laughs> He'd go like a stun mullet. Sorry, Dane. But, no, he said that himself. <laughs> brother just sacked you off the pot. <laughs> before you even got, yeah, before you got, got a chance. Uh, all right, we'll move on. That's enough of Everton talk. Yeah, fuck. That's the most we've I'll, ever I'll done. Seven I mean, that's pretty good talking about a bottom of the table team for yeah, that long. They should be happy. Yeah. Leicester, nil, Fulham, one. Leicester. They come up, they started coming good, and then they've just disappeared off the radar again. I don't really know. Have they got injuries or something? Is there something I'm missing there? No. Or is it just, just, yeah, it's just fucking. Well, let's, let's still take got Rodrigo. A, they've lost three in a row. Yeah. Leicester. And they probably beat us. That was probably their last win. Brendan Rodgers and Frank Lampard to swap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh why? <laughs> I don't make any sense, but. I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think Brendan Rodgers. I mean, apparently Everton have good, money, but I don't think he'd go to like. I feel like he wants more of a more of a successful opportunity in a project. Whereas, yeah, he's sick anyone of trying to build to, a team, eh? Yeah, unless someone's promising you like three hundred million at Everton and completely rebuilding, Ooh. like you're, you're stepping into trying to maybe get one or two big signings they and had deal a with that squad. Massive yeah. amounts of money. The amount of money they've spent, like in the yeah. last. Yeah, Forest just years. goes to show that you spend money; it means nothing. It means well, nothing. actually, so does Chelsea. Well, How yeah, much do they spend? Right. Well, that's because they went and got bloody Graham Potter, who's like a fish out of water. <laughs> He's a good manager, Graham Potter. I don't know what's he it it's, was it's, a takes, good manager. It takes time. It takes time. It Did does, you see what Pep Guardiola time. come out and said this morning? No. After like they smashed him in the FA Cup, Pep come out and said, you know, like uh, Chelsea need to give Graham Potter time because it takes all managers time. He goes, the only reason I didn't need time when I first started at Barcelona was because I had um, Messi. He had an amazing team. Yeah, and everywhere he's gone, he's, he's like gone a... from, oh, they just won yeah. the league. You do know. I felt league. like I was like, I was like yeah. you had Messi and probably the greatest team in the world. And then you've yeah. gone from there to City, which is like, yeah. Well, to you've, Bayern. You've yeah. done. And it, he went oh, to oh, Bayern. He went to Bayern, yeah. sorry. Same one, thing, one but right? like I'd, one I'd love race. to see Pep go somewhere where he doesn't have unlimited funds and an already extremely successful team. Go to Stevenage. Somewhere where he's got like, like take a project on like Arteta did. Yeah, exactly. Like somewhere where you've but got yeah. to rebuild an entire culture. Back to Potter, you do need to give managers time because yeah. like I, I saw a stat of um, some Arsenal games um, yeah. in a run under Arteta and you, oh, you lost oh, 10 in a row or yeah. something. Or in 10 games, you got one decent result. Yeah. 
Yeah, they stuck with him. Now look where you are. Yeah, no, we had some. You do need to give managers the chance. It's just I don't know if. Yeah, you don't give them five years, but like, yeah. you, you know, maybe give them a bit more than fucking ten games. Ho- so. Hopefully, gra- hopefully, Graham yeah. Potter proves me wrong for his own sake. But I just don't know if it's just a side step above or something. I yeah. don't know if he's a little bit fish out of water there. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't know. But either way, Brendan Rodgers needs to turn around at Leicester again for the second time this season. They've come off the back of a break with. No people like James Madison wins the World Cup didn't even play, but like mm. you know, like yeah. something's got to happen there. Mitrovic scoring again for Fulham. Mm. Yeah, no, oh, Mitrovic is just I don't know. I don't. Every like, time at I the start of the season, I was like, oh, good, and now I'm just like, mm, championship. Yeah. Even though he scores every second game, he didn't though. He went, he went real yeah. cold, and he's like, he's gone a bit like wonky. Yeah, see, this is why in our very first podcast I said I feel like his championship material and then he went and scored. He'd come out, yeah, he'd yeah, come yeah, out. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Well, now he's going to score this next week now that we've said yeah, that. Yeah, he will. He'll probably go on a like, look, rich vein of form. He scored 11. He's an old school type of player. Yeah. And sometimes that can look like a bit like, you know, one dimensional, a bit like, oh, he's not very good. But he's he's a target man. That's yeah. his job. Yeah, so, exactly. So, you know, he's not he's not like a forward, like a, like a Messi. Yeah. Yeah, you know he's yeah. huge no for them. Doubt. They're coming seventh, no doubt. They're killing it for them. I mean, yeah. That, to be fair, like they're going that good. I don't know yeah, why I'm ragging Brian, on him, but I just, Brian I just felt Chelsea. like he went, like he went to the World Cup, got a bit like, yeah. yeah. But moving on, Arsenal nil, Newcastle nil. Thank fuck. Scandalous. <laughs> Scandalous. There were two Scandalous. Two penalties. Scandalous. How many pens should there have been? Scandalous. I said. <laughs> No, nah, it was. It was scandalous, I'm telling you. The only, thing, the, only, the only scandalous thing is Mikhail Arteta's attitude. Mate, there's don't fuck come at me with, with bullshit he about was. him carrying on on the sideline. I don't want to hear it from anyone. He well, carries on Don't look at me. What have I fucking said? I'm just saying, I don't want to hear it from anyone. I'm with Ethan. He acted Conte like a complete carries on pork like a pork chop. chop. Yeah. Um, we did. carries on like and a we, pork and chop. And we ripped into both them last yeah, week. No, we're didn't. not denying yes, that. Yes, we did. We come on. Do. Arteta's been doing it for the last two seasons. Why are you only noticing Say now that he's, mean a, about Arteta. he's, he's yeah. at the top of the league? I will back Arteta to the death. <laughs> he's beautiful hair. My manager. I love him. Two 50-50 penalties. No, one wasn't. One was 50-50. No, one was a definite penalty. It's scandalous. One was a definite penalty. The handball. He's, lo- he's lost it. They're crumbling. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. He's <laughs> <is> like, <laughs> that interview sticks in the fire. Give me something. <laughs> North London Derby this weekend. Watch us smoke you. Oh, no, I'm yeah. just saying that. It was, it was a fantastic game from a neutral to watch. Yeah, it was all right. I, 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 to be honest, I would disagree with that because I think Newcastle didn't come to play football at all. Newcastle come to set up behind the ball, which is annoying because I – like Arteta was like, you know, they never they never intended to come here and play, which is fair. But you can't get upset with them because you got to expect that when you're. No, you say like, is that respect to you guys? Yeah, a hundred percent. You got to take that as like a massive compliment to you because they're like, yeah. we don't want to play against you guys because we're mo- more likely to it's get. It's funny hurt. they go up against City and they're like, we're up for this. Yeah, but then they they come to Anfield and fucking they, and go to. Um, I, to be honest, you, to your point, Jake, I think if it was us at home playing them at home, it yeah. would have come. They would have played a completely different style. I think just coming away from. Uh, Sorry, St. James's. The, the, they're yeah. at home. If, if they yeah. were at home, if I think they would have yep. played. Yeah. Yep. They would have had, obviously, yep. the home ground advantage and yep. it would have been a completely different game. I mean, credit to them. Because that doesn't get the fans in. You know what I mean? If you're nah. playing like that with your fans, no you way. get fucking booed. Look. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's over. You know what I mean? Con table. No, I'm just saying, like, like they set up and they're well organised and they they go in hard to challenges. The time wasting, I can understand now where you guys are coming from. That's why when we scored that late, late, late winner, I was hoping Start we were going to. So I we was could like, just be like, well, yours. it's their own fault for wasting yeah. so much time in the match. And the ref so. was like, you yeah. know, he wasn't trying well, to hide it. Like, no, I, don't I don't know if you've seen it. Got to the point where they had substitutes getting yellow cards because I think I forget who it was yeah. was down blocking us from taking a throw in. He just kept standing in front of. Um, Zinchenko trying to you're take like, That shouldn't be a yellow. If you're not playing, you shouldn't get a yellow. That should be a fucking That red. should be go. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. That's yeah, what I thought too. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, you're not playing like fuck right off. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, to be fair, Joel Linton should have scored back post early on in that game. He, that was a terrible miss. It was yeah. that, that could have like opened the game up. Four a bit. Yard. Yeah, well, that's what I was like. I thought the same thing yeah. too. That goal could have made, made it a bit better for us. but Because I said the only thing more dangerous than a – then a one nil lead is a two nil lead, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. That's that's happened once. <laughs> um, we're going down one nil in every <laughs> fucking game and we play. 
To Arsenal, just I would say probably shows that we are missing a few attacking options there. So we now this comes down to Mudrick. I'm pretty sure Shakhtar are asking for like close to 100 mil for this kid, mm. which I'm like, I don't think we should pay. You know what, but in all honesty, with transfer fees, I remember um, like 20 million pounds was like a massive, mm. like, wow, what a player. And then it became like 40 million and 60 million. And then yeah. it's that will be the standard I'd, fee soon. I, it won't be. It I'd, won't seem ridiculous. I, I don't like. You know, to be fair, like eighty million is probably. I think it's a bit. The kids only played thirty games, thirty games. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's a, in in Ukraine. How is there a hundred million? Yeah. Because they're friggin- comparing him to Grealish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's, well, I mean, he's, he's totally fucked that though, hasn't he? They're, like, they're comparing like his fee to what Grealish was when he left Aston Villa. And it's like... Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying they were compared... Like, oh, no, he's no, as good as Grealish. No, they're, like, they're saying... That, that's their comparison. They're like, well, if Grealish is even that good. <laughs> if, if Aston Villa <laughs> can get was. 100 million for Grealish playing like out of his skin at Aston Villa, we can we get it. get that for- Which is kind of unfair because Jack Grealish was like born and bred Aston Villa, like played every game there. Yeah. And he jump. played a lot longer at Villa than... Yeah, this kid's yeah. played 30, 30 top flight games he's had. But they both got shit hairdos. And they think he could... Yeah, they do. <laughs> they, they think he could be a born Dior winner. At some stage, they reckon he's got like well, the until talent. Until Messi retires, they got, he's going to get them all. He's got the talent to do it, but I just think There's paying so much paying pressure. eighty five. Yeah, exactly. That like, that's what I was going to get to. Saying that at that, like, I was going to say like the eighty five million price tag with all the chat about how good he is. Then a club pays for it. You come to the Premier League and look how long it's taken Darwin to get. That's like, exactly going. what I was going to say. And it's like it, that could happen to this kid too. Look at Pepe. We paid seven. Like exactly. surely we learn our lesson from Pepe. We yeah. paid seventy five million for the kid. Twenty nine for Soldado. He comes and he just shits the bed. <laughs> just so. like you, bro. You know? he was I, don't, um, I don't think you need to spend a hundred million euros. I assume is the fee that they're saying. I want to spend pounds? that. No, it's pounds. pounds. Okay, I, mean, I don't think that you need to spend a hundred million pounds on a relatively unproven player in the position that you are right now. No. I think that you turn around and go, oh, well, don't worry about it then. I agree. And you can go elsewhere and spend less and probably have someone just as good, more proven, well, to, more experienced. Yeah, there's talks of Jao Felix from uh, yep. Atletico yeah, but Madrid. That, but that is something that I would go for. I think that that but, would be a better signing than... But they only want to loan him for six months, plus they want $9 million, plus they want a, a guaranteed $75 million buyout option at the end of it too. If you choose to buy him... No, they want that in the contract. No, so that's what if you. Oh, I think they oh, want a loan, and they want you to buy him at the end of it. At the end so of the loan, so it's an option in their favour. Yes, like yeah. it's like it, it's kind of it must like, be for those. See, I, I don't want you to do that because I think I think that'd be. I think Jao Felix is great. Whether we, whether he once Jesus comes back, it's like oh, I don't know. But he can. Play, I'm pretty sure he's he'd be similar to um Gakpo. Probably can play in a front yeah. three or yeah, he or is. Cross. He is, yeah. He's not like an out and out like center center say, forward, but like Felix has been around. He's been playing for Atletico now mm. for how many seasons? Like, you know, I still don't think he's worth the price tag that everyone says he is. But he's a good player. He is a good he player. He is a good player. Yeah. And none of this other fucking guy, you know, Madrid, never yeah, heard I don't, yeah. I, like I've never heard of him up until like a couple of months ago. The last but one we is we might swoop in. They've heard. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they, well, I've according heard, to your transfer philosophy, well, I've heard <laughs> if we buy him. Am I true? Yeah. I've heard rumours that Arsenal could go big in this window just to try and get the title. So there, there was also talks of about Declan Rice I at eighty million. I as don't well. know about Declan Rice. Like if he's, I don't know. I don't think so he's a bad English player, value. but is I think he's English. English. Yeah. He has a hundred percent because he's English. Yeah. Tell me, there's not ten guys just as good playing in the Bundesliga. Or a you know who I'd go for? Who's yeah. out of contract? Who wants to stay there? But you could probably tempt him away. Kante. He's out of contract at the end of season at Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, mate, if you want to cover for Thomas Party that can actually dominate a midfield, which we've seen Kante could do, he's won yeah. Champions League like yeah. doing that World himself. Cup's doing it. We'll yeah. see how he goes after like post would, injury though. Yeah, like that's the only thing you'd have he's to watch out for. Getting now, isn't he? Yeah, he's getting older. Be. He's been around for a while. But I reckon just for a two-year contract, just mm. you know he'll do a job. So oh, yeah, he'd definitely do a job. Anyway, Newcastle. Uh, Got away with one there. <laughs> well, you stay top of the league. That's all right. That's okay. We don't care. Scandals. We ain't Tottenham. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty good. What do you reckon? How long we got left, Nudo? You been Tom? I do, yeah, love, mate, you. I I do love your segues, though. Thanks, mate. We've got, uh, we got enough time, mate. Ten minutes. Ten, Ten minutes. minutes. Uh, Manchester United, three. Bournemouth, <clears throat> nil. Manchester United looking good again. Yeah, but you look at like the last five teams. They're all... Yeah, you've got to beat who's in front of you, mate. doesn't matter. That That is true. But... I mean... 
Can we just say that Anthony, like, he's not even a sub for Manchester United. Like, he's not that great. I, I watched What's a little bit of million? Um, yeah, like, and that, that's another one that they're comparing Mudrick to. I'm like, you can't compare him to Anthony. Anthony I wouldn't the, even warm our bench. I watched a little bit of the <laughs> FA Cup tie of United and um, Everton, as much as I could handle. Um, oh, I was excited when I was one And, and Anthony, <laughs> some, some of them. Step overs and no look. I'm oh. like, what are you doing, bro? Like, it reminds yeah. me of that guy that fucking one of the fullbacks he gets the ball, he taps the ball, pass, and then fucking does like a 360 without the ball. Yeah, and, he that one? Out, yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah. Yeah. They love that at Man U, but they love a yeah. shower because well, half, everyone, half the stadium yeah. were just blow ins that are there to watch Man U. They love the show, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, who's right. your favorite? Um, um, the tourist trap. Yeah. Well, they were, saying, they were saying, like, and you can't, you shouldn't be, Ronaldo. you shouldn't be like ragging on him for doing stuff like that because you're taking away his position. Brazilian flair and that's what he's about oh, because like Richarlison comes out and does the juggle and gets crunched and it's like <laughs> yeah, well, I, don't, I don't disagree with the you know Yogo Benito sort of no, vibe of Brazilian it, but football make it come off, but like make it look he, good. he looks yeah. amateurish doing it he doesn't look like yeah, like, I don't lie. The 360 you know? one is – it's a, it would be a tough move. And then when it goes out for a fucking throw-in. The 360 <laughs> move, I reckon it would be tough. It's a tough move to do. Oh, yeah. fuck and yeah, if, I ain't doing it. But, like, it's not like you're beating a play with it. Yeah. You're just getting it to showboat, which it, it's like, yeah, cool, if you're up 4-0, whatever. But, like, yeah. if it's, like, one all and you're fucking doing a yeah. 360. Against fucking Everton. Yeah, like – A showboat trick when it's, like, a no-look pass. Like when or, Ronald or, De- Ronaldinho does, like, the rainbow flick over yeah. the top of the player and keeps running. Yeah. Like, when yeah. you're beating Doesn't players – Bobby something. Firmino's no-look goals. Yeah, yeah, like, little cheeky things like that yeah but when you just 100%. when you're out on the wing with no one near you no one near goal and you do a little sexy thing yeah you look like a loser if it's yeah exactly like, right if it's a bit of yoga benito to beat players and yeah. really go on the offensive and like do it's like something wowing it. people yeah like 100 yeah. go for it but if you're just trying to be a, like juggle the ball <coughs> on the sideline like yeah. Rich Charleston, like you deserve to get hammered but United like, will spend anything on anyone. That is, you, that is, if you want to talk about transfer philosophies, yeah. United is, they look half decent, have 100 million. Yeah. That is, well, that's yeah, what they do. Well, their new philosophy is, it's 200,000 cap. They're not paying anyone any more than that from now on, they reckon. Yeah, right. They're like, well, that goes all their new signings. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think that. I think you guys need to be careful, Beef. I about? think United could come after Harry Kane. They're, they're desperate for a, like a – Proper, proper striker. striker. Yeah. Mm. If they want to go toe to toe with like City and Erling Haaland, they got to get a fucking Harry Kane esque, like born bred Premier League. I'd be concerned if I were you guys. If you guys don't start. Especially with them on the rise. Them on the rise, use like, you know, plateauing a bit. Conte I, I think probably out the fucking door in like a season. When City came, we well, were going to come and he didn't go. I thought it's going to happen then. I think it's going to happen a couple of years before, but it's too late. I think now. it's too late now because he might. Well, what yeah, if he, he might signs be getting to that point though, where he's like, "Fuck! If I don't go now, I'm never going to win anything." I think he's already realised that. It, but he's going to get Shearer's <laughs> record if he stays at Spurs because he'll always start. If he goes to United and they in six months they get tired of Kane, they want to sign fucking Mbappe, which so I don't they reckon, can do. I don't reckon that would happen because he's not one of those like Ronaldo like types in the dressing room. I think Kane's pretty chill. So I don't reckon. Yeah, no, no. But yeah. I wouldn't put it past United to sign Harry Kane and then, and then oh, that's Mbappe. old news now. Sign Mbappe. <laughs> Only then, if he didn't perform. Yeah. If he I went there he, and was banging in goals, yeah. I think he'd, they, they wouldn't sign Which anyone. I think he would. He would. He'd be banging think, goals anywhere, but yeah. I, I don't think he's going to leave Tottenham. No. I no, agree, he, I agree no. with Ethan. I don't think he'll leave Tottenham. And I, I reckon Tottenham will come good. I'm not writing them off oh, as I, just like a they're gone. I, I think that eventually – the Conte experiment is going to fail, mm. but I think they have too they have too much going for them as a club to just disappear into mid table mediocrity. I, I think don't see it happening. If happen. a big club comes for Harry Kane, I think you'll be like, I missed the first opportunity. I'm not missing this one. That's what I. That's my personal opinion because if if that was me and I just said no to a big move to Man City and I'm watching Erling Haaland just fucking take off and like. No, but he wanted to go to City. They didn't. They didn't put a buy in for him. That's what I mean. I, this time, if it comes, I'm like, I'm fucking sorry, guys. Yeah. I gave you what you wanted, and now I'm out of here. Yeah, and he's. Would he? I wouldn't be like, I don't oh, think don't worry about it. It's gone now. If Manchester United come for me and they're on the up, they could look, look like they could be going Champions League and like yeah. playing well. I'm like, all right, boys, sell me now because I, I, you didn't last time and I gave you an extra two years or whatever. Yeah. Now is it's my time. You pay me back. Yeah. I want to go. I think with yeah. what he's just about to crack 200 goals, isn't he? Yeah, and he's one more goal to be the highest ever Spurs yeah. scorer. Which you'll get Jimmy that. Greaves. You'll get that yeah. in the next so, two yeah. games. Yeah. So I if he wasn't chasing Shearer's record, I think he'd go. But I think he's gonna get it at Tottenham. And to be the greatest ever Premier League goal scorer, 
he'll stay in the Premier League. So he still he'll has stay at Tottenham because yeah. he's certain to play every game. And but I think if he goes to United, he is too. But he's one of the best strikers in the yeah, league. Yeah, he he'll walk United, into any he's, side. Like he could pre- exactly he could go to pretty much any team Definitely in the Premier League for the and first, play every game for the yeah. first six eighteen months. But why right? only the first six eighteen months? Because you don't back that, him to be able to keep playing well. Well, look what happened to Ronaldo. Yeah, but, no, but Ronaldo in. was past it when he went to United. Mm, yeah, yeah, but you, you wouldn't saying. think that he was going to come in for six months and then not play anymore. That's what I I'm thought saying. he did. I thought it was a terrible signing by United. I oh, feel absolutely. like he was at the yeah. back end How of his career. Kane? He wasn't proven anything. He's born in 93. Oh, so he's fucking he's primed. Yeah, 29. He's, he's primed. primed. He's 29. 29. Yeah, I, I know primed. what you're saying, but I reckon if he went to United, I don't think he would not play unless he no, unless he, he didn't score and they went terrible exactly. which I can't see that happening he'd, Tottenham he'd need to start make, for Tottenham him. need to start making some moves I reckon and like Tottenham need to show him yeah. that he should definitely stay man there, yeah. I've been saying that for a fucking decade oh. yeah. but, <laughs> seriously I wouldn't blame Harry Kane for leaving no Spurs no. fan would I think you said that last time like at the, the start you? of this year he's, give, like he's, this he's season, made us yeah. top four or close to it for fucking he's seven given years you, he's given you 12 years of his career. And he's given you an extra two on the end when you wouldn't let him go. Yeah. So you've got to be like, if this guy wants to go and we're going. And he's the great. reason why kids walk around with the jersey. Yeah. If he wasn't there, Tottenham and would be coming fifth every How long's on year. his contract left? I don't know. And he's Probably playing in a Conte team that fucking doesn't want to score goals, doesn't want to play football. It's mm. like he's literally just got to make the I goals know. himself. So fucking you just frustration be like, fuck this. Oh, wow. Imagine like, where he could be on the goal scoring charts already if you if had went, like a, a KDB. posh. A Porsche was like, come yeah, on, boys, let's play. Yeah, you remember back then? He used well, to score way, fucking 30 every year. Imagine if he went to City, though, just fucking getting fed by KDB oh, each game. Get, Break my heart. Yeah, yeah. If, if every time he get fed, I think. I, well, I don't think he'd go to City now. <laughs> oh, no way. And, like, that would be some FIFA fucking fair play regulation bullshit oh. if he goes to City now. I wouldn't oh, be no sick. <laughs> so I honestly... Front two? Okay. How many, two million a fucking How game, many goals does he have to score to beat the Premier League record? <laughs> like 60? 60 something. For you, three more it, seasons at Spurs. Would it be more important to have the record goal scoring in the Premier League or go and win a trophy? Trophy. Because I wouldn't Premier be su- League trophy. I'd go for both. I wouldn't be surprised if he left the Premier League and went went to like a big European club just to win something. I think, I think, if, I think if he gets op- it quickly, he's, he's gone. Yeah. He won't do yeah. that, man. Not with the chance of being two, the best 261 goal scorer ever. ever. I yeah, think I'm going out now. I think he's got leave. the opportunity <laughs> to stay at a big Premier League club that could challenge for a that title. Over. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Definitely. 100%. But if Spurs are like PSG, want you? You're 32. You'll definitely, or like, I don't know, you know, Bayern Munich, like, why wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah. If, if I, I look, I would, I would want to look back and go, oh, well, I won like, yeah, you know, a couple oh, of league see, that's titles. I don't know. Nah, that, that's nah. when he wouldn't want to go to Bayern and win yeah, that, like, over being the Premier League scorer all time. Not a chance. You don't reckon? No way. Yeah, I don't think so. Because, you know, like, if he, you're going to Bayern, you could be like, yeah, I won the title at Bayern. And everyone would be like, yeah, but there was no other teams in that league. Like, yeah, you, you were won, always. They've won 10 in a row. It's pretty much you just like signed on to win a trophy. Like, that's kind of like. Players do it all the time. Oh, no doubt out players yeah. do but if you had the chance to be highest ever Premier League scorer or just win a default title with Bayern Munich yeah I reckon I you're going you're for saying. glory man and I don't think it's just a chance if he stays at Tottenham it's just 20 goals for three more seasons he if scores he 20 every League. year yeah if he stays in the Premier League he's you got go it. to fucking Burnley and get it yeah so I think highest chance that he stays Spurs second if Chelsea not Chelsea fuck them dogs well, Chelsea, United could. Chelsea have always got the fucking cash to splash or Liverpool United or Liverpool he would go to either of them Mm. I, I couldn't see us signing him because I think no, that the wage that he'd demand wouldn't mm. be within our. I just and I don't structure. think you really. You wouldn't really suit Liverpool. You've just, just got another attack. Son, you just got another attacking option. Yeah, don't you yeah. take my son. Yeah, yeah that's oh, what I, I, that, son, I, I would son take son. Would I would take son. Son would suit Liverpool. I don't yeah. think Kane would. I honestly, I reckon you're right. Kane to United, I could really see that happening. 100%. There's, there's not like a rivalry there where like they he wouldn't make Jagging for a striker. Yeah, they yeah. need a player like him. They have the money to pay him. They don't give a shit about what his wage is going to be. They are back on the up, so he'd probably look at it and go, yeah. could win something there. Promising. And, and, like, and there's, there's not a hatred. Nice football. There. There's yeah. not a hatred no between hatred. the clubs. Ericsson's no. there. He, yeah. yeah. Imagine being England captain Man, and United, United captain. <laughs> That's like it's the a English that you could fucking see pinnacle. So you just go get rid of Maguire. I think all the swap. stars are aligned for that to happen. It's just whether it does or not. We'll Where see. Where came Maguire? Swap we boys. Got, well, that's it for this little that's segment. It. I think. Yeah. Just Please stay, Harry. Game. But it's okay if you don't. <laughs> 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 well, Mixed messages well, do you from blame the beef. Him? Do you no. fucking blame him? Well, all right. We'll come no. back after the break. We'll, like we'll finish the rest of the fixtures. We'll get into next week's and, uh, yeah, we'll let Ethan just Cry. have a moment to himself. <laughs>
I'll come back. Anyway. Uh, like Big Sam. We've got some fixtures to cover, boys. We, we got stuck in that last we session. Um, next one was Southampton nil, Nottingham Forest 1. Good to see Nottingham Forest can spend $300 million <laughs> and beat Southampton. Well done. They are out of the relegation zone finally. Are so. they? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. Southampton yeah. in the relegation zone. Mate, they, are, they, are, they are locked they, in there. They are, else is Everton. They are dying. They are propping up the uh, the whole league, I, I think. I did say Southampton to go. My predictions aren't going too bad, to be honest. Who were yours? I think, Remind us, mate. I think I had Southampton going down. I did have Leeds going down. And you had Forest. I and think. I think I have Forest, yeah. Or Bournemouth. We yeah. all said Bournemouth. Forest or Bournemouth, yeah. I and had, Bournemouth I had, still could. Yeah, I had Bournemouth. I didn't say Forest. I, I said Leeds. Old Smitty put something up. He he predicted Forest come to come back good. Out of it, yeah. yeah, so he going all right, Smitty. A lot of us were talking about Everton too. I yeah, think. we can. Only Mine are woeful. My relegation was. You said Fulham. Everton. Everton and Forest isn't bad. I said underachieve Arsenal, and I said top four <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> Coming first So we you got, fucking jinxes We'll have to go back through And get all our old ones out And now, but. first manager sacked Eddie Howe Oh my <laughs> god <laughs> That is why we are The average Aussies yeah. <laughs> That's average as it comes That's hilarious Oh look um, mine now That's outrageous Leeds, Leeds United 2 West Ham United 2 uh, Kind of expected really Both kind of battling it out Like just above relegation there Goals in that. I don't really see West Ham scoring goals that much, but you know. No, they Antonio was a beast. Yeah. Uh, a season and a half ago, but who they've got in the nine now? Antonio. Is it still? <laughs> Is he? He just doesn't score. No, but he's still the number nine at West Ham United. I yeah. think he's back. Is he? Yeah. Why? What's Jared Bowen's done fuck all. Jared Bowen. Yeah, after last season, wasn't he? He was flying hot. West Ham were going so. What's happened to West Ham? To be fair, let's. That's a good question. Antonio started on the bench. It's Skamaka, Bowen, and Four Niles. Yeah, right. Oh. Four Niles. Four Niles is a good play. They could. Bruno. Some, 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 Salamanca. Uh, he's the fucking Italian dude, I'm pretty sure. Or <laughs> no, maybe it. not. It's something, something like that. Or it starts with P. Anyway, Italians don't do good in the Premier League. We've established that. Oh, who was the Chelsea um, guy that passed away this week? I'm not sure, to be honest. I didn't recognise the name. No, but I'm not really either. sure about who he is. Sorry for any diehard Chelsea fans out there, but yeah, he was a big, big guy. Uh, there was a lot, of, um, a lot of chat about it. Yeah, Graham Suness got really upset about it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, like he, I think he knew a fair few people in the Premier League for his time at Chelsea. I think, I it think was he Chelsea. also managed Chelsea for yeah, I think so. a little yeah. bit, but... Uh, anyway, I digress. Beef, let us know. Crystal Palace nil, Tottenham four. Oh, mm, I, this always happens. Conte in. You go through a <laughs> terrible, terrible match, and then you're like, even if we win next week, I'm going to still be fucking pissed off at them. Then they win, you're kind of happy a little bit. <laughs> and then you remember that you're a Get little a bit semi. angry afterwards. But it was, a, it was a great showing. Away to Palace. They're not good. Palace. They, well, they, they especially when they won, win the week before, they're going to be terrible. And they got the next Arsenal player as their manager. They're just no hopers. Um, four nil. <laughs> Kane double. <laughs> sorry, sorry, who are the ex Tottenham players that are managers? Um, um, what's his name? Scott. Oh. Did Scott Parker play? Yeah, for Scott Parker. Pundit? Thank Who's you. The oh, he's a fucking, fucking lunatic. Oh, 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 I can't. I can't Tim back Sheridan. him up. Tim, oh, no, Tim, Tim Sherwood. 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 Yeah. What a wanker. That's what that's what Tottenham produces. He's, he's, nah, he's a punch. Sherwood's off his head. Remember when he did the celebration of Adebayor and they like saluted yeah. each other? <laughs> oh, so good. And he speaks like he was a, like a manager for ages. Yeah. He speaks like, I, at my time, yeah, when nah. I was a manager, and you're like, no, dude. Like six games or something. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, great result, but it doesn't make me excited. But this weekend will make me excited. But hey, even God, then, we need, we need a run of form. We need a run of form. Yeah, win 4 0, then beat Arsenal. We haven't beat you in ages, I think. Did you dominate the game against Palace? Yep. Yeah, no, you But guess haven't. what happened? I think it was nil all at half time. The exact same thing that happened for the last. It's just that 10 Palace games didn't have anything to, to score. That's yeah. right. It, the commentator even said Spurs fans at home will be happy. They're not trailing at half time. I'm like, what have we become? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, 100% when the commentators well, even well, that's, that's how you win. You don't concede first. But then second half, same as every week. We come out like a different team. We actually attack. And yeah, we're just lucky. Yeah, what happened? Did you actually play football? Like, yeah. You good. did. Well, we, go. we had, um, what's his name? Fuck. He had his debut last week. Hill. No, no, no. Yeah, Hill <laughs> played really, playing. really well. But there was another guy, um, Pape Sar. 
Never and most of me in the match. Mate, come on. <laughs> you got to watch games. Kane scores two and you reckon almost man of the match. He was, he was excellent. He was excellent. Well, you're not going to give man of the match out, in that team. <laughs> um, put in Pape Sar a lot better. Could turn. Actually goes in hard for a challenge. Yeah. Looks forward How much did pass. you spend on Basuma? Like, I feel like he's kind of flopped. 32, I think. Bit of a flop, yep. you reckon? Yeah. Well, yeah. he's a defensive midfielder. Yeah, like, I mm. think it's more that him and Hoybe are together. Like, it's you, it's just too That's negative. right. Benton Kerr, we're missing him. Other, massive. Fair. Like, yeah. Yeah, Benton yeah, Kerr could turn forward and play a through ball to Harry, but I don't know, man. 4 0. Can't be upset with that. Could be an Everton fan. So I just <laughs> got to stay above the water. Big match this weekend, which we'll talk about. Where is, are you still in fifth? Um, yeah. Yeah, because it's like United are fourth, aren't they? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. they've got a game in hand and two points ahead of us. So. Yeah. But their, their team against ours, in terms of form, way better. Mm. I don't think we'll get back in the top four. Yeah. That's a bit negative, mate. <laughs> well, mate, have you seen us the last 10 games? The, Fact. the epitome of negative. Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. Very true. Well, at least you got a, like, a win in under your belt coming into next week because you're going to need it, mate. It's Aston right. Villa won. Wolves won. Uh, expected more from Aston Villa there considering their result. They won they beat us too, like, week before, yeah, with Unai Emery. Um, Wolves aren't crash hot, so I'd be disappointed if I was an Aston Villa fan, to be fair. They go all right in the, uh, in the Cups, though. <laughs> no, they got knocked down the Cup by Stevenage. Yeah, they got pumped by I'm Stevenage. talking about Wolves. Oh, they drew with uh, Liverpool. And should have won, I think. Yeah, there yeah. was something not up to That's sport. controversial. Yeah. Live VAR pool. Yeah. Live our pool. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you win some, you lose some in those situations. Or you draw some. Like against Arsenal, when we lost to you way back at oh, the start. No, back. hear me out, hear me out. We're going back. Roll it back. Scroll. Roll, flick the cal- get. You need to edit in the calendar, flick you back to the day. No, um, the I opening know if goal, good, to be the honest. exact <laughs> same thing happened. The opening goal for, well, similar for Saka, um, they. Didn't have an angle to know if he was offside or not, so they just had to let it go with the assistant ref. Well, the same thing happened in our game, except that they the assistant ref flagged offside and they didn't have the angle to check, so they had to go with the assistant ref. Yeah, yeah. okay. That's so throughout the season, you get some, you don't get some. Yeah, yeah. but that, that's that's how it should be adjudicated. Obviously, we benefited from it. Yeah. Well, the point well, you know, VAR he put up is, his flag. VAR is to check, right? Yeah. yeah. Aren't the referees meant to ref? Yeah. Yes. So the referees ref, they couldn't check it, yeah. so they went with the ref. Yeah. What yeah. do you want them to do? I would have been absolutely blown up though. For the if, I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. if I was, yeah. If I was Lopetegui, I would have been blown they, they up. They reckon there's a photo that someone's taken on the reverse <laughs> angle and he's, he's onside, but I'm like, oh well. You know, um, they got a replay. Yeah. It's they get like, the big is that, is that the worst the rule in English football? The FA that? Cup, like English Cup replays? I just think that it's I so think teams traditionally, play too much football as I think it is. traditionally yeah, I yeah. understand the rule because it allowed small clubs 100%. to potentially get like a replay with a big team at their home ground, bring I, money in. I agree. But now it's like, I agree. It should be, who was it? I think it was Klopp that came out and said there should be some other form of advantage to the smaller teams. Yeah. Rather than a replay, it should be like... You know, I don't know. I don't. To be honest, I don't know yeah. how you give an advantage without making it unfair. One yeah. goal, but yeah, it's like they start with then a we're handicap. <laughs> yeah, it's like Tottenham start with a goal down. Yeah, um, come back. Yeah, but just the replays, man. Like now, you're gonna like the Premier League. You've got to try and schedule that in. Like it moves all your fixtures it's around. Been, it's already been scheduled to like mid next week. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's horrible. So that's, it's that's like I mean. game this weekend, midweek game, game, and that's not what you guys need. God I mean, you just you obviously play like a your youth side or whatever. Most likely. No, no we no. actually played like a, str- a strong-ish 11, I yeah, think, because okay. clubs probably realise that's a good chance. Good chance of a trophy, yeah, true. So, so that's what I mean. It's tough for you guys. you got injuries. That's where more injuries come in. You're just getting pumped with games left, right and centre. Yep. Um, but anyway, Aston Villa won, Wolves won. Last game of the round, Chelsea nil, City won. Chelsea, I just feel like they could have done more in that game. Well, I don't know. Didn't Kepa. Watch it. Yeah, well, oh, Kepa, what was what was he doing? Was that, uh, yeah, like that literally rolled a meter in front of him. Yeah, like, like, what are you doing, bro? You know what was worse? Like, you got money on this game or something? De Gea in the FA Cup. Did you see his one? Nah. He was on the near post and it, and it got fired at him from and he he like tried to block it between his feet. He could have dropped and stopped it with stopped his it. hand and he tried to block it between his feet and it went through his legs and got tapped in. Yeah, right. Yeah. I suppose we can't be too critical of keepers <laughs> considering what we had. Yeah, Allison had a howler as well. Oh. That's three keepers in Oh a few yeah, days. Allison, I don't know what Allison was. He, he does of. have that in his fucking arsenal though. Yeah, like that's that's every every 10 games is an absolute fucking shocker from him. 
But yeah, in the end, City, the two substitutes making a difference. Grealish and Mahrez come on, combined to score that yeah. goal. I've yep. seen that interview with Grealish after it. They asked him, like, we like you looking for Mahrez there? And he said, to be honest, he goes, I knew Harlem was in there somewhere. So I just pinged the ball and then knew he'd get on it if it got past the keeper. How it got past Kappa, as we said, oh, I have no idea. That was, yeah. I said it straight away. I'm like, that's terrible keeping. Match fixing. Like, at least get a hand on it or something. Yeah. Even if you push it back into traffic, at least you stop that ball across. Like, but yeah. You just look like an absolute twat. Looks like match fixing. That's what it looks like to me yeah. when you watch it roll past your yeah. feet. Like, yeah. It's yeah. like you didn't want to look like you got dirty. dirty. Yeah. Unreal. He's like, oh, I won't go yeah, out there. Yeah, too many feet there. I'm not yeah, diving there. Yeah, do a little smooth like, slide. You got a bit scared. Um, anyway, that's the fixtures from last round. We've had FA Cup this weekend. Moving on to next weekend, or this weekend coming, we'll start up the top. Aston Villa leads... Um, you'd be expecting to get a win at home for Aston Villa. You think um, they're bouncing back after FA Cup too? Yeah, that's true. Getting pumped by a fucking Stevenage or whatever. <laughs> what league are they Drawing in? Drawing to Wolves. I fucking probably here or something. League one. Yeah. League two. I don't know. To be honest. Yeah, I don't know. League two. Honest. I reckon sounds like a League two. Squad. Yeah. Mm. Never heard of it before. <laughs> but yeah, Aston Villa back on the bounce. I would predict that Aston Villa will win that game, unless Leeds show up because you never know what Leeds is going to turn up. That's the other problem. Oh, big game. Manchester yeah, no. United Manchester versus just Manchester City. Manchester Derby. Well, I mean, this is our first big test for the newly reinvigorated Manchester United, mm-hmm. you would say. They'd be they'd be keen, I reckon. To, to oh, absolutely, have City yeah. At home. It's the right time to reverse them. Exactly. Yeah. City don't look they don't look bad. You can never say City look bad, but they don't look like in that they look a little bit scintillating off. form no, that they, they can be. Definitely in. not. But as they said last week when they beat Chelsea, they just find a way. Mm-hmm. They, they can bring yeah. on 250 that's, million well, pounds that's the worth thing, of players. Yeah. That's exactly that's right. That's the difference between us and them at the moment. Like, we couldn't find a way against Newcastle. Those yeah. We didn't have the power. We could bring in Jack Grealish and Mahrez well, off the bench. Is Jack Grealish not their most expensive signing ever? Like Isn't record he the signing? most expensive? Yeah, I think so. No, that's still... Um, Neymar to... Yeah. No, in, Premier oh, in Premier League. Premier League. Yeah, Premier League. Yeah. In Premier League years, yeah, yeah, so to be able to have the most expensive signing ever in the Premier League, Sitting he just on sits bench. on your bench and you bring him on if that's you need That's outrageous. Right. He... Do you... Oh, you probably missed it because you didn't watch the game, but after the Chelsea City game, Jack Grealish gave an interview on the Optus Sport. Um, he's, he actually speaks really well and it was really, it's really... He gives like a really candid interview. Every time he speaks in front of a camera, it's... You yeah, can tell... I'll just see Kieran Knightley from Bennett and... Bent it like Beckham <laughs> every time. I'm like, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> trying to be there. serious here and you just come with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm being serious. He gives real candid interviews and he speaks really well and they asked him like, how does it feel going from being the star player out on Aston Villa side where you come up in, like from the youth ranks and like captaining the team, leading it out every week, going into the city side and he said he said it's probably the hardest thing i've ever done i guess i thought it'd be easy guys i thought i'd just walk into city and like you know start scoring goals giving assists just make my way into the team and it'd be sweet and he goes obviously i'm surrounded by world-class players so my role is off the bench here he goes but it's what i gotta do he goes but yeah it's probably the, the way harder than what he ever thought it would be strolling into the city side which yeah. was i thought was he gave some other really good like uh answers to some of their questions too it's really good chat i don't, I don't think you'll stay there for too much longer. No, I don't nah, think so. not if he's not starting. No. Exactly. No, he might go back. Oh. Not to Villa. <laughs> Maybe under Emery, like bring him up. Eventually, he'll end up at, back at Villa in his twilight. I reckon. Yeah, but not coaching now. him. He'll be some like hardened centre mid by then. who's scarred up and just hacks <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> be a Joey Barton. Yeah. Um, but anyway, back to the United City. I think um, this is one of, what's going to prove that United need a striker. I think. This is Rashford's in form. Rashford's in form, but he's not a striker. What are we, we keep saying? Rashford's in form. I was reading yeah, something today. His stats aren't that great, are no. they? No, but he, he, he scored, scored one more than Nunes. Yeah, <laughs> and they're saying, oh, he's one of the best Premier League strikers. It's just it's the like, way he's playing at the moment. He's taking players on his beat plays. He's always in and, and they around the him area. To Foden, like, and this was another one they were saying that um, he was. Oh, he was not very good. You know, he's not performing very well. And then you look at one of the most prized English he's players. He's just. He, he is in form. You can't. He, he might not be converted he as much, he's, but he's scored in the don't last forget three he's a games. winger. And, uh, Darwin's a striker, so that you got to give a bit of leeway there. I just think he's, yeah, he's playing well. He's like he's scored two winners in their last three games, and he scored three goals. Yeah, right. I'm just giving you a stat. No, no, I know. I'm just saying he's stat, he is in man. form for this game. Yeah, um, big time. Yeah, and I think United will be up for it massive at Old Trafford. I think yeah, United fans match. will be up for it massive. I feel like they, they will be. They'll be rocking the house um, down. 
that they'll feel like they can get a result definitely the first absolutely time in that'll ages. be a 12 man they that yeah. could also be their undoing though. absolutely yeah, they it could get pumped could. four nil yeah exactly oh. right See, this is hard, but with this game, like I don't really want City to do well, but I'd love mm. to see you know. I'd love trash. United. I'd love United to win because you know, yeah, it's uh, easy for yeah, you. Yeah, obviously, yeah, right? yeah. yeah, obviously. How about you, Ethan? You obviously want to see your boy City do well. <laughs> um, City, uh, because uh, 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 <laughs> nah, I'm off City. Yeah, Haven't been a bit of Harlan chat for a while, has no, he? He's nah, because he bugger all because he went amazing. So he's not the you know. He's not the talk of the town anymore. Yeah, yeah. He's not the new toy on he's, the table. He's not scoring like a hat trick of hat tricks. <laughs> but I'm going for City because United have got our fourth spot. Yeah, true. That's an easy one for you, really. Early uh, game for Aussies as well. How good's mm, that? Finally a derby oh, yeah, and a sweet. fucking good time. Um, yeah. Boys, Great Brighton point. versus Liverpool. Nervous? Excited? Oh, mate, you know, dangerous. just one of those things. It's a dangerous fixture. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It is, yeah. Well, can, can, can I have some more fucking <laughs> insight, please? Give us something. I don't know, My mate. Jaws hurt. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, um, the, well, we drew with them last time, didn't we? Three all last time we played them. I don't know. You don't know much this week, do you, Vic? <laughs> Jeez. Look, uh, what would you put in this poison yeah. thing? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know one thing. Um, we can't concede first again 100% but there's a high chance that we probably will <laughs> um, Darwin broke his score and duck against Wolves and it was a great goal too might it I was add nice. on the volley oh yeah oh, like oh, over, great ball from the, Trent the, over the, the top and on the volley as I said to you but who gives a fuck what it came off mm. as long as he it goes in <laughs> oh who cares he in. needed to hit the back of the net and he did it oh, on I'm the just volley like, did that and I looked at it again and I'm like yeah it came off his leg <laughs> he commentated it he's just scored a volley Left foot screamer in the commentators. Like, I think it came off his shin. I'm like, I don't give a fuck where it came off, bro. Like, who cares? Right, anyway, that's when you get like a clearance and it smacks you in the face and goes, and you're like, yeah, go. Van Dyke is out for like a month. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So um, he was injured when he got hooked the other. Yeah, week. he was. Yeah, yeah. he's okay. got like a but groin he, injury. He still deserved to be hooked anyway. Yeah, right. But um, I, I'm boy, not. You know. I'm not super disappointed because I don't mind Matip and Canade together. Yeah. Okay. Um. We had a bit of a fucking. Well, fucking it'll be a good test for him straight off the bat coming up against Brighton that combination mm. yeah they're gonna have to be up for it Trent is looking a lot more sound defensively too I've noticed yeah well, he had a great game in the yeah, FA yeah. Cup really, he really, really like good few one on ones he just like he won them he bossed them so yeah um, yeah the it depends what 11 he picks hopefully he just picks like I don't know the midfield is the thing that worries me yeah I was gonna me. say your midfield needs to be the up back four and the front three I'm like Cool with, but it just Brian. depends what what three he picks in the middle. That that's what worries Brian me. midfield isn't any joke yeah. either. Mm. Like, when there's when it's like I, it's I, I, for them too. <clears throat> yeah. I rate Harvey Elliott, but when it's like when it if it's like Elliott, anyone who plays it seems to me that when Elliott comes on, whoever's playing defensive mid has more work to do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know if he's more of like an attacking mid or a winger. I don't really see him as like a... Centre mid. Nah, yeah, like nah, a number eight. I don't, I don't think don't, he's don't think really so a number eight. And it's, so, I think, fucking um, Fabinho's been out of form. Fabinho has been mm, out of form. Yeah. And it's time. like when he keeps playing that. with Elliot too. Yeah. So he's out of form and he's getting more of a workload. Yeah, like it doesn't help. Like it's a double negative. A yeah. game like this, like if we had genuine out of him in that side... Yeah, I know. Like, I would love a midfield again of Henderson, Fabinho, and Jenny Wijnaldum. Yeah, just a workhorse. Yeah, two workhorses. Like a young workhorse, not someone that's fucking 30 plus. Yeah. But like, Jenny and Henderson workhorses, and then just Fabinho sitting. Like, that's what we need. And let the front three and the fullbacks do create. That thing. Do you that know? thing. Do that thing. We've scored that many goals from not using the midfield to score. You know what I mean? Like exactly. We them. Because that's Klopp's yeah. way. Like, yeah. they're an engine, they're not, yeah, they're not the creativity. No creativity. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully we can get a result. But yeah, it just Let's depends what Liverpool score turns predictions, up. fellas. Please, um, well, confidence. Go with confidence, fellas. Confidence has me saying that we keep our first clean sheet in a long time, and we just get a couple and win two nil. Mm. I like two nil, but I think it might be three two. I'm going to go with confidence <coughs> for you and say two all. One all for me. <laughs> All right, all right. All hedged our bets. <laughs> it's better than a nil all, isn't it, hey? Yeah, hey? Is it against Newcastle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, we still We still score, but we just can see. Um, all right, Everton versus South. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a relegation Fucking six-pointer. Hey, nil all. Definition yeah, of a relegation six-pointer yeah. right there. And it'll if be nil, won. nil. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what Dire goes on effect. there. I don't even want to think about that Southampton game. Southampton have lost six in a row, though. Surely Everton can beat them. <laughs> oh, fuck you don't I didn't say that with confidence One all That's that's a draw 
for sure. Ooh, They're both yeah. shot. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of shot, Nottingham Forest versus okay. Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> just get, just get some worse. really good games and there's some really West bad games this week. Forest two, Leicester one. Moving on, oh, I think West Leicester Ham. nil. I don't think Leicester got any goals left in them. But they're, they're versus all Forest. Yeah, they're all out. Forest don't have any goals. They'll, they'll either. snake one against Forest, but Forest at home will have too much for them. Two one. <laughs> nil all. Nil all. Why, why are you laughing? One, one nil Forest. One nil Forest, Jake. I reckon one nil Leicester. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, too late. <laughs> I'll write them to down check. as I edit it. No, no I, I actually that. won't, but I'll pretend no, that I will. will. <laughs> uh, Wolves versus West Ham. Another shit house game. Jesus Wolves had a Christ. great performance against us. So West Ham. And they Ham. have a fantastic manager, Lopetegui. So I'm saying that. You rate the Lopetegs. Well, he used to coach Big Barcelona, tegs. Spain. He did, did well. Did he really? Yeah. For how long? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head, but no, a couple like, of seasons like at Barca. Like recently. Oh, okay. I think this is his first job since maybe the Spain. I thought game. I knew his fucking name. I wasn't sure. Like, that's how out of it I am with Spanish football. I just fucking. I was never in it with Spanish football. So. No. What are you talking about? You reckon you know all the league, Jake? Oh, no. Some. <laughs> some. <laughs> I know oh, that I don't like the Spanish leg. How about that? Speaking of dare affairs, Brentford versus... No, nah, actually, this would be a good one. I think Brentford are going to put four past Bournemouth here. Yeah. Ivan Tony, he's Brent- coming to Arsenal, so... Brentford do like a 4-0, don't they? Yeah. They seem yeah. to get a few of them. I've heard a lot of people say Arsenal should go for Ivan Tony, like as a cheaper, proven option for up front. Mm. He does score goals. You wouldn't be angry with it, would you? No. no. And Brentford... It's quality, man. He doesn't play in a team. Sometimes players that play in those like smaller teams where it's very counter-attacking and like they um they struggle when they go to a team that dominates possession, but Brentford play that game. Yeah. So he probably would... Whoa, see. what the hell? Oh, my God. Two times in one podcast. I'm mate. trying to open up the fucking... TAB. No, I'm trying to get... Trying <laughs> to get no, I get notifications for like three different accounts on Instagram. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. And then like I click on one and it's a re- it goes straight to a fucking reel that I don't give a shit about. And I'm trying to get onto to the just, average just Aussie. Get Instagram. it over and done. We'll just open it up. We'll deal with it. Get out of there. We'll talk about power so yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's on the slop dog account. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, Chelsea Palace. Thanks, Nudo. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Chelsea Palace. Oh, Chelsea are winning this. No, Palace, Palace. are winning. Yeah. I'm putting the house on Palace. Yeah, it's Palace. Gamble responsibly. They um, were shit against us. Yeah, but... But Chelsea are... But they mm. they can be shit one week and then Crystal Palace come out and win the next week. It Wait, happens. It's been happening. 4 2 Palace. <laughs> me, and, me and Jango have been paying attention to this pattern and it has yeah. literally happened for the last it's like, like two months. Cards at the when we get back to the punters no, club. <laughs> every week we say like a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Who's up for the punters this week? Put yeah, can all. someone in the punters club Put tell it. me when it's my turn? Because I miss it every time. I haven't bet in months. I keep winning, but I do like, check your emails, mate. Time. I don't. I turned them off because <laughs> pun face is a bitch. Abusing me all the time. Shit again. <laughs> you need to know, mate. What about beef with like the 790% gain? Yeah, mate. Yeah, no. Nice, I lost mate. it all this week. <sighs> gamble, gamble responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> or don't gamble. Bet with all. your head, not over. Um, all right, so we covered Cr- Chelsea Crystal Palace. I'm yeah, going, pretty yeah, much. We're going yeah. Crystal Palace three, Chelsea, three, Chelsea, Chelsea two. No. Nah. Chelsea 16, Palace. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd like, you choose? Palace 4 2. Uh, Newcastle versus Fulham. Newcastle at home. You expect a big result. Sure. They, might, they might actually come out and play some fucking football this week, Schmidty. What do you reckon? Rather than just stand behind the ball and kick it out every fucking five minutes. The ball was in play for 40, like seven minutes or something in our game. Wow. 47 minutes of some trash number like that. That is, I reckon they needed to bring in the at a time that they were putting on 100%. the World Cup. Fuck yeah, it would have been 200 minutes. No, but seriously, Definitely. What, how do they think Five it's going to stop? Yeah, what will stop time wasting? When a team who's just time wasted all game and yeah, they're, you know they're drawing much? nil on, then at the end of the game, there's 20 minutes added on. What are they going to do? They'll fucking stop doing yeah, it. Two hour yeah. Newcastle. They game, added so. five minutes to that. Arsenal. Ridiculous. And that's half. Then you see like the <laughs> videos of Arteta just blowing up. That's when they say five minutes out of injury time. Yeah. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Which I'm understandable with. Like that was a disgrace to yeah, be fair. No, like, it was. That was. Anyway. I was pissing myself when I said that. Yeah, you know, I, I fucking good. love it. I Fuck. Fucking, I love it. Anyway, I think Newcastle come out, play some football, smash for them. Unless Mitrovic can fucking aim I'm up call- for the boys. I'm calling 3-1. Mitrovic will get a goal on it, but Newcastle have too much for him. Yeah, playing, as I said, playing at home, yeah. playing football. Tripper, snipper, free kick. And then probably, usually, always 
game of the round. It's a pretty big one. Mm. North London oh, derby. It's a bit hard when you've got the Manchester derby in there too, though, isn't it? Oh. No, nah, not and really. And the relegation nah. derby between I Everton feel like, and Southampton. Uh, There's way like more passion yeah, in the North London buys. derby. I feel like recent, of recent times, the – because United have been great. City have been too good all the time. There's not much going on there. Like mm. Arsenal and Tottenham have been neck and neck for well, like the last like four or yeah. five North London derbies. We've been neck and neck with each other. So it always it's always a fucking cracking game. And Tottenham can be so out of form. You just turn up and play like fucking prime Barclay yeah. in 2004. We haven't won in a long time. But that first showing... At the Emirates, that was a disgraceful showing, and that Emerson Royale red card yeah, where he ran card. forty meters oh, to tackle yeah, someone right. from behind. Yeah. We watched that here, didn't we? Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, that, yeah. Ethan didn't talk for a bit. Oh, talk man. good four about... days after yeah. that. Well, at the start of the game, I'm like Emerson Royale, why the fuck is he starting? It? Don't pass him the ball, and then he got. Oh, he didn't even have the ball. He no. just got <laughs> sent off. So hopefully um, he doesn't start. Hopefully Conte goes. You're not hopefully ruining not another team. NLD. I'm excited, but you can't not. That's a great game. I come on. Arsenal are learning to play with pressure, which is good for us. So these bigger games are getting better to watch as a mm. Arsenal fan because you used to just be nerves all the time. You never mm. know when they're just going to chuck it in the bin. But uh, we're building a kind of culture where we've got a bit of um, grit behind us. So yeah, we, and your we, confidence too. Away from home. We'd have to play really well to be here. Yeah, you will. You will have to play really so well. You, you threw that away on fucking Palace. And. I'd, yeah. If you give, if you do your normal thing and just give the ball to us and sit behind it, I mean that's probably your best chance, to be honest. Well, he's not going to bring in a ten for the game or nah. start an attack. And I don't think you're going to switch and just start playing like fully attacking nah. football. No, and Kulusevski's the one player Is that can, no, nah, that can take on and burn. So yeah, so. So it's, no, no, they're still injured. It's pretty much just going to be us having the ball and trying to break it down and then use. You you always have teams. You have like your fifteen minutes of dominating possession and level it out. But I hope you're wrong. But I think most of the game we they've played, done it for the first you sixteen like rounds. And Burnley, someone's got we just possession. if we can't crack you in the first sixty minutes, I want to see subs, man. Arteta has like I don't know whether he doesn't trust players or like he just wants to work with what's going on. But like against um, Newcastle, I think we we brought. Muhammad El Nenny on or something like that, like, mm. and we change or we change Kieran Tierney for Zinchenko. We change like our right and left back, and it's just like not one really, for one. not really taking subs. So we had fucking um, what's his name, oh, uh, Vieira sitting on the bench, and Arteta didn't ring thirty million pound doesn't, player. Doesn't really rate him, does he? Sitting on the bench. I don't know if he doesn't think he's ready, which I don't think he is. He hasn't put on the size. He hasn't spent a whole season in the Premier League. He needs to put on a bit of size and work like a bit harder. Oh, yeah, shit. It's but, super frustrating when you're losing or you're drawing and you don't bring on your subs. Yeah. We, we don't have any attacking subs at the moment. Well, though, we don't so. have many either. Yeah. We, what I want to see from Tottenham is we come out and play different in the first half. And if we don't, the fucking crowd at White Hart Lane to give it to them. Mm. Boo when they pass it back and give Arsenal the ball. Why not? They're playing with a banner. Yes. Like, I know you're meant to be out. supporting well, of it, but it's a North London derby. Gives you score prediction. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know, man. Two all. Two all. Go. I, I was thinking two all. <laughs> two one Arsenal. Yeah, I'm going to go three one Arsenal again for the second time this season. All right, everyone. Thank you all for watching. That's all we've got time for this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Please sub to the channel if yeah, you get, get a us chance. 200. Yeah, get us to 200. Um, we love you all. Uh, go Arsenal. No, on you Spurs. <laughs> we are Tottenham, super Tottenham. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs>